That is bothering me because it looks like a person. A cult. Whoa. Hi, hello. It's Wednesday, I think. Yeah, go into the city today. This is the fit. Cost crossbody, Uniqlo U from last autumn winter. Loving it a lot. Little brown shirt underneath. A mock neck and my little carpenter pants with the book pocket. Yeah, uh, going into the city to get the Metro card, the LA Metro card, which has the Lunar New Year bunny on it. And yeah, uh, I want to get that before they run out or they disappear. Yeah. And then, yeah, doing some eats, doing some boutique visits, perhaps, but mostly eating. I, I feel like every time I go to a city, I, I need to like feast in order to get a to get a grip on the beat of the city. I think I mentioned this in a book update, but like food writing and just like food, you really do get the heart of the city. Yeah, in dishes and bowls. But yeah, doing this today. <laughs> and look at my empty bookshelf. Um, I, I, it's empty right now because I'm planning to do like a build it's already built, but like, put books on this shelf with me kind of video. And uh, I haven't really thought about what books I want to put on. Also, I haven't done a bookshelf tour, which I feel like I should be, which I feel like I should do first before I work on that bookshelf. So those are the delays, ATM. And I don't got a lot of time. I think tomorrow I'll probably do the bookshelf tour. This also, I don't know how to format that. Okay, this intro is way too long. So have a good day.
are so odd. Hi, I'm Nathan. If you're new here, I read books because reading is sexy, and if you're not reading, you're not sexy. I don't know how well this video will be. I have Jackie Gleason in the background, and it's really soothing right now. I spent this day in the city. It was good. Sort of just heat up. <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm so tired. I hit up a cult. Well, a couple of eateries and yeah it was fab we went to east la to pick up our metro cards can i show you la metro uh, made a special card for the lunar new year and i wanted to get it before they disappeared uh, we went to the metro office customer service office in east la which is so hilarious because it was like not next to any metro station in sight and uh yeah the guy only had like 13 cards left my friend bought like three or four and i just bought one but look it's so cute in what does it say oh it just says year of the rabbit 2023 but it's so cute yes and um yeah we started the day with really good burritos we got a chile rileno burrito with al pastor and then we got to use our cards and I went all the way downtown to get a lox bagel, which was actually really good. The fish was like really good. And then we got, we got ooh, a pizza at Danny Boy's, which was also really good. My friend got the cheese and I got the white shroom. That was really good. After that, what else did we do? Oh, we went to the 6th Street Bridge, which is a travesty in LA urban planning. That thing is not meant for people or bikers yet. And I don't know, it like costs double the of the uh, Manhattan Bridge, sadly. And it's a travesty. Yeah, then went to DSM. I tried the Marseille Comte des Garçons cologne and I really enjoyed that. I might pick that up. There's only 80 bucks. Sure, this tiny bottle, but I think I might pick it up. And then, oh, we went to this little, little bougie cafe and got a matcha because we were over caffeinated and thought uh, matcha would help. <laughs> it was nice, pleasant. And then we got like seafood tacos and tostadas, which were phenomenal. And then, yeah, sat through about an hour and 30 minutes of LA traffic and it was the worst. It was fine. It was fine. Um, it was a very warm LA day. It's quite nice. Oh, I have you propped up a uh, standing desk and that is bothering me because it looks like a person. So I'll stand here. Book update. My heart. I just finished this. But y'all, I just finished Lucy by Jamaica Kincaid. Wow, I cannot stress enough, like, how I haven't read Jamaica Kincaid sooner, because she is incredible. The way that she dances around certain ideas to get to a specific point that gets to theme, and the themes overlap, and it's just gorgeous. It's a coming of age of a 17-year-old girl from the West Indies and comes to North America to work as an au pair. And it's less about her work and more about the relationship she has with women until you hit, I don't know if I should spoil it, well, spoiler alert, until she, you hit the middle of the book where she's met with men and you get to see how she experiences these relationships with men and it sort of <laughs> destroys her life. At the beginning of the book, I thought, oh, how tormentous she is this homesickness and being aggravated by the little things um the other women she meets and even her own mother has got a couple of mommy issues but she realizes that it's the patriarchal society that fucks her up and 
after that, it's just a whirlwind of becoming, understanding of who she is, where she's from, and who she will be. And it's just so gorgeous. There are moments where I just flipped back and had to reread because Jamaica Kincaid is like an incredible, incredible writer. Buddy read this with Renee, and I couldn't have asked for a better Buddy read. She's incredible. Just our thoughts and ideas exchanged about the relationship of women between each other, the mother-daughter relationship, feelings as verbs, and how we pit them against each other in order to create what is home. You know, when I think of home, I immediately think like comfort and love and everything, but home is also a lot of discomfort. Home is, you know, all the silly little fights and the ways we spite each other and the ways we become children again and um, say things we don't mean. And Kincaid is really, really great at creating the ex experience of what it is to be a teenager, the wishy-washy, angsty, angry, lostness of what it means to be a teenager, and it's, it's wonderful what she does. And the book ends exactly as you want it to feel, and yeah, I feel so much. I would love to read this ending for you, but I think you should just read the book to get to it and feel it for yourself. It really is a special, special book. And read it with a very special person. Renee, if you're watching this, you're incredible. I, I can't thank you enough. I also want to talk about how uh, Ben, a few videos back, when he was talking about Winterson of sexual awakening books. If, and if I have teenage viewers out here, this is a wonderful sexual awakening book. Mine was, um, is it written on the body or sexing the cherry? I think one of those. But one of those really did um, change how I saw bodies and how I interact with bodies when we get to uh, intimate situations. Um, TMI, I think. But incredible. This book does get steamy. Oof. I, mm, yeah, quite, quite steamy. Um, full of curiosity, full of exploration, full of adolescence. Lucy, Jamaica Kincaid. Everyone, please read this. And if you've read Jamaica Kincaid, please tell me what I should read next, because I love her. I love her. I want to read more of her. Yeah, can't get enough. She's wonderful. Okay. With that, I think I'm going to start Anna Kavan's Ice. I think I just read the... Uh, the little bio that's about Kavan and learn that she is from Cannes and um, she spent her time in Europe, the US and the UK and she died shortly after publishing this in 1968. I will be doing a buddy read of this with Lindsay, Lindsay C Costello and I'll leave her uh, username in YouTube downstairs but yes very excited to read Ice. Also look at this cover. I'm so lucky I snagged this cover. It's just wonderful with the little car there, but yes. Oh, incredible. I uh, will have an eight hour layover in Las Vegas because we're flying Spirit. And the flight was only like 60 bucks, so can't complain. But eight hours is plenty of time, I think, to put myself in a disorienting experience of what it's like to be cold. So, very excited to read this. And I think, because I'm leaving in two days, I believe, I have two other books I think I'll be bringing with me. I'll be bringing Miyako Kawakami's Breast and Eggs, because I'm doing a buddy read with Pato. Very excited. It's a thick one. And I don't know if I'll be directly starting this book in February, but by the time February starts, I'll be in New York, and I'm doing a buddy read with Katie James. We're doing Toni Morrison's Sula. Very excited. This will be my second Toni Morrison, and I can't wait to get into other books. Yes, so doing this.
And I'm also bringing soft spot. I think this is what it's called. A book with images and words that I think will, oh, I'm supposed to gift this to somebody. So I want to read it first before I gift it. And that's what we're doing. Yeah, I hope this Jackie Gleason music wasn't distracting, but I am in much need of it. And I think I'm gonna go to bed early because I am pooped. I tell you, pooped. Hardly, hardly ho. It's, what? Thursday. I've got a few errands to run, hence the uh, Kuropi bag. But yes, post office today. I think I'm getting a haircut, meeting my cousin for lunch, and then a few other things. And then I think I'm, uh, I need a pack for Atlanta and New York and then meeting a friend later for a special event. Not quite sure what it is, we'll see. And uh, yeah, yeah, keeping my sanity as I, as I chug along here, but yes. Oh yes, fit breakdown. I just had this shirt tailored thanks to my auntie. Auntie came in, fixed the length of these. The sleeves were way too long. Um, but this like oversized relaxed dad shirt, Uniqlo U long sleeve with the pocket, my friend's old jeans, yeah, uh, pretty casual today, and a hat today because it's quite windy, and my hair is atrocious, I mean, okay, it's not like that bad, but like, I'm getting haircut anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but yeah, let's go. Oh, I uh, forgot, um, of course, the Koss crossbody bag. And Starting Ice by Anna Kavan. Pretty cold, dark, mysterious um, so far, and I'm, I'm here for it. It's, it's going to match the weather in New York, I'm sure, and Atlanta. Um, but yes. Okay.
to do my intro. However, I edit this. Hi, I'm Nathan. If you're new here, I read books because reading is sexy. And if you're not reading, you're not sexy. Okay. Now time to do my outro. Be well. Do good work. Keep in touch.